Today we're diving into a topic that's crossed your mind at least once, maybe even twice, particularly after a long week of late nights. Can I catch up on sleep by sleeping in over the weekend? Spoiler alert, the answer is more complicated than you think. First off, let's talk about the concept of catching up on sleep. We've all been there, pulled an all-nighter, then thought, oh, I'll just sleep in on Saturday and everything will be fine. But that's where things get tricky. As it turns out, sleep isn't something you can just store up like a battery. It's more like a fine-tuned system. Once disrupted, it's not something you can easily restore by just sleeping longer. So why can't we just catch up on sleep? Well, it all comes down to the science of how sleep works. Sleep is a vital process that helps our bodies and brains recover and repair. But here's the catch. Sleep isn't just a single, simple process. It's broken down into several stages, with each one playing an essential role in making you feel restored and energized. When we sleep, we cycle through stages. Light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. Each stage serves a different purpose, from restoring physical energy to consolidating memories and even clearing out toxins in the brain. Missing out on any of these stages, especially during a period of sleep deprivation, can throw your body's recovery process out of whack. And here's the kicker. If you don't get enough deep sleep or REM sleep during the week, sleeping in on the weekend won't really help you make up for it. In fact, oversleeping can actually mess up your body's internal clock called your circadian rhythm and further disrupt your sleep patterns even more. Now let's talk about what happens when you're sleep deprived. Missing sleep won't just leave you feeling groggy, though it will also do that. In fact, the effects of sleep deprivation can impact your mood, cognition, and physical health. Research has shown that sleep deprivation can impair your cognitive abilities, slow reaction times, and even affect your memory. And those effects don't just vanish after a few hours of sleeping in. They can linger for days. It's kind of like a hangover, but without the fun night out. One study found that after just one night of poor sleep, it could take your brain two to three days to fully recover, and that's even with sleeping in longer over the weekend. On that note, let's address the myth of the weekend recovery. This is the idea that if you sleep in longer on your Saturday or Sunday, it'll leave you feeling like your old self. And unfortunately, that's just not how it works. Unless you're constantly sleep deprived, then you'll feel probably like your old self. When you wake up late, you might feel a little more rested, but studies show that sleeping in doesn't really make up for a whole week of sleep dead. Instead of balancing things out, it can just make it harder for you to get back into your usual sleep rhythm on Sunday night or Monday morning. And that means starting your work week feeling groggy again. So when you try to make up for lost sleep by oversleeping, you're more likely affecting your circadian rhythm and making it difficult for you to fall asleep on time for the rest of your week. Okay, I hear you saying sleeping in doesn't cut it, so what do I do to feel more rested? Now I have a few suggestions, but the truth is, quality sleep starts with a good mattress. Are you looking for somewhere to test all the latest online exclusive mattresses in one place? Perfect, that's where Sleep Bear comes in. Try out any mattress in our showrooms by booking an appointment today via the links in the description. First up, consistency is key. Try going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on your weekends. This helps your body sync up with its natural circadian rhythm and ensures you're getting the right amount of sleep each night. Also, avoid caffeine and screens before bed. I know, difficult, but they can mess with your ability to fall asleep. Instead, try a calming bedtime routine, like reading a book or practicing relaxation techniques. Sleep is essential for our overall health and well being, but when it comes to catching up on sleep, our bodies simply don't work that way. You need consistency, quality, and adequate time for rest. So instead of trying to make up for lost sleep, find time to make sleep a priority every night. Your mind and body will thank you later. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, prove it by hitting that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, you can do so by clicking or tapping on screen now. Again, thank you for watching this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy snoozing.